Rudolf, in this original Mervica, share with us some experience and impressions after the great show that you have in front of the cathedral at the main square in the downtown of Sarajevo for the occasion of the opening Mervica Old Town. Wow, where to start? I mean, this visit was a blast. It's, it's just a one-day visit to Sarajevo, but it started with with uh, visiting the new Mrvica bakery just one evening before the grand opening, uh, which surprised me uh, about the, the, the variety of products, the assortment of products. I mean, from traditional pastries like your little Mrvica tatli, and, and to, to, to macarons, to croissants, to variations of bread. I, I saw Merveilleux, which is a French and Belgian little cake with its own interpretations. So this is a very international, eclectic style of food that Mrvica brings to Sarajevo. Wonderful. And then the party, the opening party. So many people showed up. Unbelievable. I like to think that they don't come for me, but because of the good weather. <laughs> and maybe because Mrvica already started to building a reputation for the last two years. People obviously like this small pastry shop. And I guess they are very happy that now in the center, in the old town, they can find their favorite coffee shop and, and pastry store. Um, but still, I was surprised that so many people showed up. I've spoken to so many uh, pastry lovers, cooks, uh, children who are motivated to go to culinary school to help their parents in the kitchen with baking, with cooking. So this was like happening so much. <laughs> well, let, let's go, go back to your beginnings, actually. How you became a chef, how you became what you are today. Is it because of some specific love uh, for cooking or how everything actually started? Like every choice for a profession when you are a child, starts with a little bit of magic. To me, it was the simplicity of my mom cooking something like canapes or snacks or little appetizers for a house party and when I was allowed as a six or seven year old boy to pass around all the food to our visitors, family, friends, then people were surprised by the flavor and magic and as a young child I looked at those people and thought wow what my mom makes other people just put in their body I always say everything Mrs. Jensen eats becomes Mrs. Jensen. I mean, you are what you eat, you become the food. And to me that was like magic. And I remember asking my parents, wow, mom and dad, can I learn this? And can I go to a school to actually learn cooking? Because I, at that age, I wanted to be this magician translating normal ingredients into something special, something better than maybe just the plain ingredient. And that motivated me. For today, uh, we, can, we can say that um, people were delighted about the recipes and things that they tried to eat. But um, you said that you tried Bosnian cuisine. So is there anything that you tried to eat but that you didn't like? No, I cannot find a single negative side of Bosnian cuisine. But still, if you force me or you torture me, <laughs> you, say you have to come up with something, then I would say, why? Well, uh, there's a lot of meat. I mean, it's so good. But when it's so good, it has the danger that you eat more and more and more. And I think to stay healthy, there's, there's, there's an, an, a balance between looking at the, eating the right amount of food. So uh, maybe a little less meat, because the quality is good, the flavor is fantastic, but just lower the portion and add some more vegetables. So what do you cook for yourself? Is it lighter food for you and your family? Yes, I like to cook uh, lighter meals and more like the traditional heavier meals during weekends uh, when I have guests in my house and I'd like to invite family and friends I can never send people away if for if they come in for a cup of coffee I cannot say bye bye because they have to stay for dinner and uh, and during weekdays um, most of the time I work late so then you don't want to have a heavy meal when it's too late yeah. and I, th I always like the idea that you're looking forward to your breakfast as well. 
talking about breakfast, Mervicia has fantastic breakfasts here. People should try their carrot breads and their croissants, the real butter croissants. So yeah, breakfast is something that's very important. What is most demanding for you to prepare? Well, most demanding is not the difficulty of a recipe, because somehow, even if I never made a recipe, it's just a matter of being interested in, in, in what the recipe is and just give it a try. Um, but I try to force myself to make what other people are asking of me. So I'm, I'm like uh, greatest hits or requests. <laughs> if I was a musician, people would come up to me and say, could you play this and this song? So Dancing Queen or, or whatever, or, or, and then I would play it. Because as a cook, you just like to please others. And I always are, well, wondering and, 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 and excited if, if, you know, did I do the right thing? Are people really satisfied with it? So that's, that's what keeps me uh, on the edge and excited. Okay, at the end, what would you suggest to the Mervica team? What they should cook? What, which direction in preparing uh, delicious meals they should take in order to keep the standards of the, of the brand? To start, this is an excellent start, uh, especially with the, with the second shop in, in Old Town. The breakfasts are fantastic, so maybe work towards lunch because a pastry chef in the old days, they were just the more creative cooks. So, um, if you understand the, the, the basics of dough preparation, there are so many like savory pies you can make with, with savory food. That would be probably the third, uh, the third shop, and uh, in between they will, we will just kind of invite all of to try the Mervica balls by Rudolf. Yeah, that's a nice introduction. It's the meatballs of the what 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 the butcher has. They, they have meatballs, and the baker now, Mervica has their own, not meatballs but pastry balls, and everybody should try them.